good afternoon everybody the agenda for today is gonna be the first step welcome second reflection third step emotional content that we are gonna know uh, we are gonna watch a video about through fourth step sorry singing a song by the son I walk fifth step time to read and one immigrant inventor sixth step different between all and our and we are gonna start to listen and read the, the story about the ice man in our student book then we are gonna work on practice book and finally the question and answer part and remember that on this part you can ask me some questions if you have questions you can uh, send me a, an email to oscar 20289 at gmail.com after class and I will respond all your message and remember that with evaluated activity much of you couldn't send me you can send me today or on this week and uh, we are gonna add the score the grade that you have we are gonna continue with our welcome Good afternoon, my dear student. Welcome to my class. Today is Wednesday, August 12, 2020. Wednesday, August 12, 2020. And we are going to have a lot of surprises on my classes. We are going to start to read and one, an immigrant inventor. We are going to discover the history of this character. We are going to know about Navajo, Navajo's son. And we are going to finish our unit uh, with the reading of a student book and practice book. Let's start. Let's do it. Honesty means always telling the truth. Can people trust you? Be honest. We always need to tell the truth. Be honest. Can people really trust you? Be honest. We always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Like when you drop a nice face and your mom doesn't see. Do you tell her the truth or do you go, who, me? Just say that you dropped it and mother will say, thank you for telling the truth, I can trust you every day. Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Like when you see a friend get bullied and the teacher comes near, do you just turn your back as if you didn't even hear? Just tell that nice teacher what you really saw then, and people will trust you if bullying happens again. Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Like when you're doing your schoolwork and you want to cheat, do you look off your neighbor's paper or let them take a peek? Just do your own work with integrity. Your teacher will respect your honesty. Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Like when you butt in line and the teacher spies it, do you say I'm sorry or do you blatantly deny it? Just say that you cut and find the end of the line. Then people can trust you every time. Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Be honest, we always need to tell the truth. Be honest, can people really trust you? Well, we continue after we watch the video about the truth. We have a reflection. A reflection, yeah, uh, it's in common uh, with the video. It talks about through. It talks about 
to you be sincere? And it says, be the change you want to see in the world. Many times we are asking or we want to others make uh, well things, good things. But many times we are doing bad things. We have to, if we want to see a change in another person, in all people, we have to begin with that change. And uh, I will give you an example, for example, uh, the example that I will give you is uh, the garbage. Many times, much of us, uh, we take up the garbage on the garden or on the floor. And we have to take up the garbage on the on the basket. That is a simple and a common um, learning that we have to teach others, because much people think that is the the wow thing that they are doing, and it's not good. What are they doing? They have to change. But first, we have to model with, for example, well, we are going to continue with our class. I think that the, the reflection you are going to uh, think about it, remember, be the change you want to see in the world in all aspects. In all aspects, you have to be the change. Well, let's continue. Well, we are going to continue with our son. By this song, I walk. Page 103 reading packs. So today we are going to listen only and we are going to sing this song. And I added, I added this two pictures because I want to tell you that this song, it's a Navajo song. What is a Navajo song? What is a Navajo? It's one of the, a lot of Indians that live it and born in the United States. They are the original people from this country. Much of us, we think that the you know, real Americans, that the real people that live in the United States, were the white people. And it's a lie. It's not true. These people that you can see here, that is similar to us, they born in the United States. Ancestors there. For that reason, they vote with British people, and and they have to move to reservations. And as you can see here, here we have a kind of house of Navajo culture, Navajo Indians. And this song is special because they are talking about that by this song they walk. And when you read the sun, when you read the paragraph, you can see that they are talking about natural resources. On that case, you can say that, imagine that this is your house. And they only have the necessary to live on. No TV, no cell phones, no technology. They live with natural resources, and we are going to listen first, and then the second time you are going to sing with me. From Poland, I'm looked upon by this song. First time we are gonna listen the second time and we are gonna sing 
please in page 103 we have this beautiful song let's sing from Poland I look upon by this song I walk crystal rock it is me by this song I walk bluebird sounds before me by this song I walk on a bit of sound same page. On page 103 we have two equations on letter C. It says, answer the equation in complete, in complete sentences. What do all the highlighted words have in common? We have the words pollen, crystal, bluebird, and beetle. What do you think? Pollen, crystal, Bluebird and beetle. You can you can work in your purple notebook on English notebook. And next question it says, why do you think this Navajo sun includes these words? I already says, as you can see here the picture, they live with natural resources. I think, and I believe that they think that they live better of us because much of them and they actually they live on, on, on this kind of house and they respect root, their roots and their culture and and I think that they live and they believe that they live better of us because they don't have technology much of um, the technology is is good but for them because they respect the natural roots the natural resources and their roots they continue with with their culture with their costumes and i gave you the answer because they include these words because they uh, they think or they believe that the herds the natural resources give you the life. For that reason, they included these words. Well, let's continue with our reading parts. With our reading of our reading parts, with our new unit. Well, I need to you uh, take up and open um, your reading packs on page 53. Page 53, sorry, here because it, does, it doesn't have to be the letter S. And what is the title of this new, you know, of this new reading? I'm one immigrant inventor. Immigrant with the double M. Immigrant inventor is gonna be the history about this person. We are gonna know what he invented. But what we have here, we have the vocabulary. We have the keywords: perseverance, roots. Roots. We already know what it's the meaning of roots technology, engineering, immigrate, citizen, patent, ethnicity, stereotype, generous, heritage, honorary, and contributions. We are gonna, on this reading, we are gonna investigate these words. Remember that on the glossary, you can investigate. And today, we are gonna work in the predicting part in your notebook. Would you have to answer these three questions? Number one, what does the title tell you about the passage? I'm one immigrant inventor. What does the title tell you about the passage? 
and one immigrant inventor is the is the title. What do you think? You can chat. You can chat. You can type the answer. What do you think that is going to be the story when you read the title? And one immigrant inventor. Do you think that and one was an Abajo person? On which country did he live before he went to the United States if he moved? Number two. What can you tell about this person from the picture? What can you tell about this person from the picture? When we see the first picture, we see a man with two luggage. And we see the country of China and specifically the city of Shanghai. But as you can see, it doesn't look like an... Um, Latin American people, Latin American person, but he, he doesn't look like an American person. He looks like he comes from which which country? You can type. He comes or he came from he came from El Salvador. He came from United States. Or he born on China. In number three, what clues do the keywords give you about the passage? What clues do the keywords give you about the passage? Look at here. We are going to talk about technology. We are going to talk about roots, persevered, citizen, honorary, and contributions. Well, this was the class for our reading packs. I know that you are going to answer. Remember that you can type every question that I ask on the chat. And I need to use, you use the chat only for the class, related with our class. Let's continue with our student book and practice book part. After we already begin our, our reading packs or our new unit, we are going to have a pronunciation class, a fun class. And it's going to be about the difference between O and out, O and O. And what we have here, we have on page 43, I need to you take up your student book and open on page 43, 43. What we have, we have an old song. We are going to listen to the song and we are going to identify the, the words that have old and old. Old, old and old. Old. Where? We are going to listen. It's track 29. Everybody, what are you going to do? It says, circle, listen and say the cheer. What can you do? You can circle with red color the words that have old and all with blue color. Let's listen. Track 29. Let's listen. Track 29. Listen and say the cheer. Power to the owls. That is the difference. 
Let's listen the track 30 and we are going to identify what is going to be um, the missing the missing part. Out and out. Out and out. Let's listen the first one. It's track 30. Please, without pencil, you are going to write the correct pronunciation. Track 30. Listen and complete the words with O-U or O-W. One. Ouch! Uh Ouch. Ow or O. Ow or O. Ouch. I hurt my mouth. I hurt my mouth. Mouth. Please don't shout. Please don't shout out and out. Listen number two. Two. Look at that cloud. It looks like a cow. Wow. Look at that cloud. It looks like a cow. Wow. Moo. A cow. Yes. Number three. Three. Look, it's a mouse. What? In the house? Look, it's a mouse. Out. What? In the house? House. And number four. Four. Why does that clown have a frown on his face? Why does that clown have a frown of his face. Clown. Frown. Well, I know that you already identified the difference between ow and ow. Ow and ow. Page 44. What we have on page 44? We have a story of a superhuman. It's, it's, the title says, The Iceman, The True Story of a Superhuman. What are you going to do? You are going to read today. Only read it. Read the story. At your home, you will read this story. You can listen with your CD. And next class, next class, we are going to answer this this question page 44 and page 45 well this was our student book develop class we are going to continue with our practice book we continue with our practice book i need to you take up your practice book and open on page 40 page 40 or 40 now remember that we were talking about spelling and pronunciation class, a phonetic class. We were talking about out and o, out and o. And it says, read and write the written words. The rhyming words. Read and write the rhyming words. What we have here? Crown. Crown. Which words? Written. Which Chrome. It can be clown. I will spell, I will say the pronunciation of every word, and you are gonna, and then I will spell this, and you are gonna try to identify what is the written word. Chrome. Cow. Cow. Tower. Tower. Out, out, house, house, scow, scow, wow, wow, blouse, blouse, shout, shout, clown. Clown, frown, frown, flower, flower, 
how how mouse mouse shower shower I will help you with example example with tower flower shower tower flower shower crown clown brown cow cow wow how yes out shout scout out shout scout house house blouse blouse mouse mouse well we already did it and the last exercise says circle word with an out sound out sound do you know how about the out mountains in japan now i wonder if it ever snows in the mountains are the mountains in the north or south of japan are the mountains in the north or south in japan of japan you can mount a horse and explore on your own you can mount a horse and explore on your own Remember only OW, OW sounds. Write an account of your trip around the mountain. Write an account of your trip around the mountain. In number six, and a prop to say that I climbed the mountain. And a prop to say that I climbed the mountain. Well, finally, we have the practice book pages of the story but as I already said before in the student book part we have to read first the story next class we are gonna only only check it out and we are gonna assess the answer of these two pages these two pages about the story about the Iceman well this was the class remember i will tell you that if you couldn't send me the evaluation you can send me today or you can send me during this week and you are going to have the same uh, score the same grade please send me send me the activity for this you are going to help me and i will uh, upload your score on my program and you will have the 30 the 70 percent with this homework activity assignment please that's all if you have a, a question if you have a question and this case on question and answer part you can ask me thank you and see you soon